how to adapt values in Excel based on its colors. Let's say I want to know what is the total amount or the yellowish colors that I have in this list. Instead of manually do this task, such as equals sign and then the first yellow value add to the second cell plus the third one and so forth, because it can take a long time, I can create a function to help me with this task. And the way I can add up only the values that meet with a certain criteria, such as a yellow color or a green color, or even different colors, such as red, purple, orange, or you name it, because you can use all the colors that you have on your Excel. Okay, so let's find out how can we create this function to add up values by it colors. Let's go. Let's get started by enabling the developer tab in Excel. You can go to the home tab and in any blank spot on the ribbon, you can right click and then you can go to customize the ribbon. Within those options, you can choose instead of popular command, all tabs. And if you scroll down, you can find the developer, you click on it and then you can click on add and then you can click OK. Simple as that. Now you already have the developer tab enabled on your ribbon. Now, if you go to the description of this video, you can find out two codes that are going to leave. The first one and the second one. The first one is going to be very important to help us automatically update the results. And the second one is going to be the function itself. So let me first of all, select the first code and then right click and then copy. Now I can go again to developer tab and I can click on the first tool that I have, that is the Visual Basic. A new window is going to pop up here, and then I can click on this workbook. One, two, okay, simple as that. Now, as we can notice, a new window is going to pop up here to the right. You can right click, and then you can go to paste. And now the code works automatically. You don't need to close or update the spreadsheet to get a different result, a updated value, let's say. Now let me minimize this window and I can go back here to the second code, click, hold and drag, right click, copy. And again, you can find those codes into the description, okay? Let me go back to Visual Basic. Now I need to go to create a new module. So right click onto this left panel and then insert module. With this new first module that you have, you can double click one, two, to open up this right panel, and then you can right click and then paste the code that you did copy before. I can close this panel and do it done. So now we can go back to the examples. And let's say I want to add up all the values that have a yellowish color. I can start with using the equal sign and then cell color. That is the function that we did create throughout those codes. Double click one, two. And the only thing that I need to do is select the cell where I want to extract off to the side the code of the color. So let me click on this cell to the right, to the left, sorry, and then enter six. So six means this cell right here, the color yellow is equal to six. If I click at the bottom right corner, hold and drag down. As we can notice, I have many different numbers. 43 is equal to green and negative 41, 42 is equal to blank. Let me move it up like this. Okay, now we have all the, the codes. And if I change a number, maybe this one, 19 to a different color, such as a red one. Okay, as we can notice the value did not update automatically. However, if I click in any other cell, the value is going to automatically be updated. This is how Excel knows what is the difference between the color of this cell to this one or to this one and so forth. Now with this new column that is going to help us know the code or the color code of the cell, we can use the sum if function. So let's extract off here to the side, also the code of those colors that we have. 
equal sign color cell color one two click on the cell enter let me bring it down like this okay equals sign sum if function because i want only want to add up the values that meet a certain criteria double click one two the range is going to be the color code comma my criteria is the color code that i want to use to add up the values comma and the sum range are the numbers that i want to add up together simple as that and if i hit enter i have the correct result of the values that are equal to yellow and i can also manually check if it's correct using the equal sign the first yellow add to the second one add to the third one and so forth let me hit enter and as we can notice both of those results are equal to each other now we know it's correct let me do one more time equal sign or i can bring the formula down but anyways equal sign some if double click one two range is going to be the color code comma criteria is the 43 that is the code of the green color comma the sum range is going to be those values right here simple as that enter and we're done now if we move on to a different example let's say the third one is very similar to the first because if i change the color to purple i can use the same method as we did in the first example to add up only the values that meet with a certain criteria or condition or color in this case okay so it's the same as as we did before However, in this example right here, we, I have maybe something slightly different. I want to get rid of this, the first and the second column color, like this. And I want to use the payment color to add up the values that I have to the left. It maybe looks like a little bit different. However, it's the same that we can do. I can create a helper column with the color code. And again, use the equal sign and color cell color function one two and it extract off to the side the code of the cells color that i have to the left and then enter i can bring it down at the bottom right corner click hold and drag okay now i can move again at the top i can use the codes right here too equal sign cell color i want to use the cell here underneath this bar and then enter i can bring it down like this and to make sure we can properly adapt the values using the color criteria i can use the sum if function once you coupled with the code that we have here the range is going to be the color code comma the criteria is the code itself comma the sum range is going to be the values and then enter simple as that so 143.96 this is the result and this is how basically we can add up values in excel using colors as a criteria now there is a utterly important step you need to properly save your excel file so make sure you click on file and then save as and then browse you can go ahead and save this excel file anywhere on your computer however the important thing is here save as type excel macro enabled workbook xlsm this is the most important thing to do now click on save and uh, you're done 